Good day. My name is Stephen Davids. I am a professional generalist, the CEO of a training company, and a systems designer. In this video, I will discuss the Bezier curve. The Bezier curve is very important in the sense that it is used a lot in video editing. In Blender, it is used a lot in the video editing section of Blender, the Bezier curve is used for the transitioning between the positions of an image or a movie, uh, the transitioning in the pan and zoom effect, the transitioning in the Ken Burns effect. It is also used in audio transitioning. It is therefore a very good thing to master and to know the uh, Bezier curve. The Bezier curve as a general rule simplifies your input instructions because you input your instructions in the form of a curve. It will be very good to watch the previous video on the graphics editor and how to access the graphs editor in Blender so that you can have a good understanding for this video. The Bezier curve point that we will use consists of the various elements. You get in the middle the vector point and then you get the control handles at both sides of the vector point. You get a control handle and at the end of the control handle you do get the control handle points and then of course you do get the curve lines. The usage of these elements we will discuss in greater detail as the video progresses. I already prepared the files that I will use in the examples. Below is the color step, and on top of it, overlaying it in alpha over, is the, a picture. You can also use a movie. And attached to this image is then the transforms strip, and I use the transform strip to minimize the image. The first uh, activity point I will register now, keeping my cursor on the X, pressing the I, and there you can see the activity point. The second activity point that I will register around 12 seconds, I keep the uh, cursor in the X information box and it on the eye. And there you will see the second activity box registered. We will only use the y-axis for the sake of simplicity and since I am hiding the y-axis. The same navigation tools that is in general use in Blender applies here. For example, control out lift button zooms in and out, out lift mouse button and only the uh, pad movements move the whole screen around, out F10, toggle it to see the whole screen, etc. And in addition, then to select a activity point, you hold the cursor over it, right click the selection, and then G to move it up or down, left or right. You will move it around to the 30th. And as you can see, while I'm moving it, there is a movement on the screen. If I lower the curve point, the activity point, the X bar is there. If I select, right click, G for grab, move up on the and increase the X units. And you can see uh, the 
image move on the X bar. If you look, you will see that you have a very faint S curve. If you want to make the curves of the S curve more prominent, then you can select the activity point. It is already selected. Move it over to the control handle point. Right click. To select it and grab G and then move it. If you extend the control handle, you increase the curve in the direction that you move the control handle point. If you shorten the control handle, the curve decreases and becomes more straighter. I will show it again. You Increase it in the direction that you point it and keep it. The curve increases. And we can increase now the curve slightly. Left click to deselect the control handle point. You select now the lower activity point. Right click to select it. Move it over to the control handle point. Right click again. G for grab it and then move it. And this curve also. The curve increases in the way, in the direction that you move the control handle point. The curve decreases if you shorten the control handle by moving the control handle point. In this way we now have a S curve. You must left click when you are finished. If you do not left click the points will return to their original position. An S curve means that whatever starts off slowly Gradually it increases and with the bend of the curve, the movement slows down. We now play the video from the start, the short video, to see what happens with the S curve and how it affects the outcome. Slowly the image moves to the end. And there it stopped. In the next video, we will continue drawing some more curves and looking at the effects. Thank you very much for watching this video. We love constructive comments. Please like and share this video.